Welcome friends to another video. This is episode 9 of Learning to Heal. Now this video ended up being a little bit different because halfway through the dungeon I actually realized I forgot to hit record. Yay me. But to be fair, this dungeon actually was over within like less than 10 minutes. It was one of those where the group I was in wanted to get in and get out as quick as possible. <laughs> Well, no time like the present, let's just go ahead and jump right in to where I realized I needed to hit record. Once I finally realized I needed to hit record, you'll kind of notice that we already have somebody that's DC'd from the dungeon and apparently somebody is having some UI problems. You know, also, I was not on point on this at all. I don't even have my streamer section set up so you can see what I'm casting. Now, in all honesty, I could just, like, never show this video, but what's the fun in that? This is all part of learning how to heal, and making mistakes is learning how to heal. As I've been making these videos, I've noticed that I am starting to get a lot more confident in healing. I'm making sure that I have my spirit totem out, and also that I'm keeping the tank with his overtime healing as needed. I also kind of remember halfway through this dungeon what the mechanic is, but luckily I never had the, um, whatchamacallit, the thing that the guy throws, the hook? Sure. I feel like it has a better name for that. But anywho, when he throws that at you, at least I didn't get that on me because I kind of forgot until halfway through what I was supposed to do with that, so lucky for me. For this boss fight, I put a timer up in the top left corner so you can see exactly how fast this actually ends up going. I was in a dungeon with some very overgeared people because it was just me and three other people because the fourth person never actually got back on, which is a shame because it would have been kind of a fun dungeon. But the tank is doing exactly what he needs to be doing. I don't have to heal him that much. I just have to heal a little bit of AoE damage that everybody kind of got, but easy peasy lemon squeezy. It really wasn't that challenging at all. And I kind of was thinking at this point in time, maybe I need to up my game just a little bit. 40 seconds. That's it. That's all it took in order to knock down this boss. That's how quick this dungeon was. Like, jeez, Louise, Papa Cheese. It just... Wow. After this dungeon, it really did hit hard that I'm just taking the easy route. I'm not making this challenging for me. I'm only level 52. You can see that I don't have much for the campaign finished. So I'm going to focus on making my character a higher level. Probably not 60 by the next episode. I got some other stuff I'm working on. You know, time management's kind of hard sometimes. <laughs> But I definitely want to finish all the campaign and get me up to where I need to go and be. Because if it's going to be this kind of an easy challenge, it's not really a challenge at all. And I kind of feel like I'm not learning much if I'm just standing around. So we're going to see what happens in the next episode when I hopefully am able to queue for some better dungeons. Probably not because I won't be level 60, but we'll see what happens. You can never give up hope when you are trying your best. Or at least that's a new motto I'm making up. <laughs> Anywho, hopefully you found this video enjoyable. If you did, please give it a like, and I look forward to you joining me on the next episode of Learning to Hail Heal. To the night. Have a good one.